Hi, welcome back to another Coffee Talk. My name is Mariana and today we're going to talk about diversity, inclusion and the LGBT community. June is summertime and happiness, but it's also Pride Month and rainbows. We all love it, it's colors everywhere, it's companies changing their logos and it's parades and it's, there's billboards everywhere. And although this sounds super cool, it's not about the party. I think that people forget that the LGBT community, they have been through a lot of oppression throughout the years and this is their way of expressing themselves and realizing that they're also part of the community and of society. To this day, there's still a lot of things that are happening that should not be happening and that are disgusting. Diversity is the what and inclusion is the how. So basically what this means is that everyone should have a voice and should have their voice heard and the same opportunities to thrive in the world and express their best self and be their best self wherever they are and however they choose to label themselves. This sounds incredibly simple and there's a book called Who's Your City by Richard Florida, I love this book. And it claims that the regions which have the higher concentration of artists, musicians, gay and lesbian people as well as high, what he describes as high bohemian people, have the highest rates of economic development. These people are considered to be the most creative ones that exist, because they can fully express themselves. It's really interesting. I honestly think that this is beautiful, because the more creative people that live in regions such as New York, San Francisco or Sydney, are also the ones who contribute more by providing more resources and different like innovation and technology to the economy. It's really interesting, I for sure want to move to one of these places someday. And sure, we can talk about all the scientific reasons why someone would not be heterosexual, like the linkage between DNA markers on the X chromosome and the male sexual orientation. But the base research that has been made shows that men that are gay are born gay. So there's, there's even evidence that we are born somewhere in the spectrum and that we adapt culturally. So I do not understand why people still think that these people are different and they are even threatened by them and they label them as being unconventional or not normal. And there's more people coming out with this issue. You have the amazing come out video of L Mills. I love it. Eve Cornwell or you even have my most favorite of all time lesbian couple which is Cara Delevingne and Ashley Benson which they broke up, they are an next couple but they are great, they are amazing and they contributed a lot to the community and sure, one thing is talking about diversity, inclusion another thing is talking about Pride Month and I understand that there are a lot of problems with Pride Month itself as a celebration and there's a video on this which I would advise everyone to watch of Enter Havilland He's a conservative but in this video he says a lot of things that I personally agree on so I think it's good just to think about the celebration part because it's about the rights that they have and not about the party and also the fact that your sexuality does not define you, it's not a personality trait. By accepting yourself, even if other people don't, this is empowering to you and to others and you'll become closer to who you truly are, which is amazing. So basically I think that pride means diversity, means inclusion and basically means love because I think everyone is free to love who they love and not get this to be determined by wherever the society thinks they should be or whoever they should love like it doesn't matter so it's basically just about being yourself and respecting everyone else i think this is it happy pride everyone just enjoy your life be yourself and subscribe to my channel and bye